Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to see what is ply-based uh, modeling for composite structures in HyperMesh. So in the previous video, we had seen how to do zone-based modeling for composite structures in HyperMesh using HyperLaminate. Uh, in case you have not seen that video, I'll attach that video link in the description. You can go and check it out. Also, I'll attach my blog link which I write about HyperMesh. You can also check that out if you want. Okay, so we'll start with apply based modeling. So to have a bit of a background, uh, what is zone based modeling and what is ply based modeling? So in zone based modeling, what basically happens is uh, we create different zones uh, in the same mesh and uh, we assign different properties to that zone. Suppose we have a hole here. So suppose we want to assign a different properties to the elements near this hole. So we'll create a zone there. And suppose we want to assign different properties to the element near this edge. So we'll create a separate zone there. So basically these different zones have different properties, orientation and thicknesses. Okay. So what happens? So uh, in a zone based modeling, a uh, single mesh in a layer can have different properties in the single same layer so in ply based modeling what happens basically is the whole layer will have the same kind of property and same kind of orientation uh, so that is basically what is ply based modeling okay so to perform any composite modeling as we had done in the previous video we first need to define materials so uh, we'll use the same materials we used in the previous tutorial so as you can see we already have new material 1 2 and 3 defined here okay and to uh, use this ply based modeling we have to create a property so we'll create a property with uh, pro card image p comp p p i've already created the property uh, you can see here it's a ply based property here and if you enlarge this uh, name is ply based and the card image is pcom p p so pcom p p is basically used to create a uh, ply based composite structures so we already have the material and the property next we have to define a ply so how to create a ply so before that, what is a ply? So ply is basically a layer in the composite structure. Okay. So uh, how a composite structure is formed in a ply based laminate is this plies are stacked over one another to create a structure which is known as the composite structure. So uh, this ply have different, these different plies have different materials and this different plies can have different orientation and as well as different thickness so to create a ply we can right click on this browser window we can go to create and we'll select ply so a pop-up window like this opens so your name will click uh, will write suppose ply 4 card image will be ply uh, material type all and we'll select suppose we'll select uh, material 2 then we have to assign the thickness to that ply. So suppose we have we will give the material thickness as 0.4 or the ply thickness as 0.4. Then we have to select the system. So what is this system? So this system is nothing but basically the coordinate system. So we already have a global coordinate system defined here in HyperMesh as you can see X, Y and Z you can see which is available. Uh, but it is preferred to have a local coordinate system defined in the structure which we are going to use to create the composite structure so i have already created a coordinate system here xyz on the edge of this mesh as you can see here so we'll select this and you can see it's selected and we'll click on proceed uh, then we have to define the ply orientation so suppose we'll define that it has 10 degrees so, okay then we'll have to select the elements to which uh, the shape of which this ply will take. So we go on and select the element, take displayed, and we'll click on proceed. Then we'll click on create. So as you can see, uh, ply with ply name 4 is created under the plies collector here on the browser window. Okay. So we have created the materials. 
we have created the plies we have created the property for ply based modeling so as i told before plies are the different layers of the composite structure okay so now we have formed a different layers of the composite structure but how to stack them up so for that basically we have to define a laminate so what is a laminate so laminate basically defines the order of stacking of these plies uh, in a composite structure so to create a laminate we can right click on the browser window we can go to create and we'll select laminate i've already created a laminate here so we'll right click on this we'll click on edit uh, so as you can see here uh, we already have three plies under this laminate ply one two and three uh, we can add a fourth ply if we want. We just have to click on this blank space and select the ply which we want to add. And so we will select ply 4 and it gets added here. Okay, so this will be the order of stacking. The topmost ply will be at the bottom, then ply 2, above that ply 2, ply 3, and ply 4. Okay, so the type of this uh, laminate will be ply laminate. We have other types such as sub laminate and interface laminate also. So, uh, just to have a brief about what is what are sub laminates and interface laminate. So, sub laminate uh, basically sub laminate is analogous to uh, sub assembly. So, if if you have been involved in production of some uh, manufacturing of some product, you would know this. Uh, basically, we have part, we have sub assembly, and we have assembly. So, what is sublaminate is sublaminate is analogous to subassembly, uh, and the subassembly consists of different parts. Okay, so uh, the sublaminates cons consists of different plies. Okay, and this plies make a sublaminate, and then this sublaminate is part of a bigger laminate. Okay, it's part of a bigger laminate which is an analogous to assembly. Okay. So that is what is sub laminate and then interface laminate. So interface laminate is basically a laminate which connects all these sub laminates. Okay, so it's the connecting part between all these laminates. Okay, so we'll just uh, we have added the ply 4 and we'll update this. So it's updated. Okay, okay, so we have created a laminate. So now we have created the laminate, uh, we have created the plies, but uh, we can't visualize it here. So how to visualize this? So uh, before visualizing this, we have to assign the P comp P property card, which we have created to this component, which contains the mesh whose structure this composite uh, laminate will take. So we'll go to uh, this connection part, we'll go to connection. We'll go to property and we'll select the ply base property here, which I have already selected. Okay, so to visualize uh, the composite structure, we'll, we have to switch on the 2D detailed representation. So we'll switch on the 2D detailed representation. As you can see, uh, the thicknesses of the plies have stacked up, which is basically contained in the laminate. So, Okay, but still the laminates are not visible as you can see the plies with different colors uh, will change the color of this ply red okay so but the color is still the same so how to visualize this so for this we have to switch on the composite layers which is just beside the 2d element representation go to and we'll switch on the composite layers still the in color has not changed we can't visualize uh, what is the stacking order of the plies? So for that we have to go to uh, this drop down here to display by property. So as you can see now the color has changed and we can visualize the order of stacking of this plies as you can see. So as you can see here this is how this will be visible. So it's stacked like this. The ply one is at the bottom. Of that is ply two. Of that ply three, and on the top we have ply two. So this stacking order can be changed if we uh, shuffle it in the laminate. So this is how the ply-based modeling will look. And as you can see, 
the properties are same throughout one layer the thickness is also same throughout one layer uh, and the orientation so if you want to see the orientation uh, we can go to uh, we can just select the drop down here on the, where we selected the composite layers and we can select composite layers with fiber direction so this will basically give us the orientation of this ply so as you can see we have orientation here this direction okay for the bottom part also we have in the same direction suppose we make it like this so as you can see the middle layers have orientation in a different direction and the layer above that has orientation in a different direction okay so but basically one layer has all the elements orienting in the same direction so this is basically how we do apply based modeling in hypermesh so this is all for this video uh, thank you for watching this video so again if you want to read more about hypermesh and uh, understand more about hypermesh you can check out my channel and my blog which the link to which i'll attach in the description okay please like share and subscribe thank you